The unbelievable death of Dean Potter in National Park of Yosemite. Dean Potter was a renowned extreme sports athlete known for his innovative techniques, fearless approach and pioneering achievements in rock climbing and base jumping. He gained fame for his daring free solo climbs and his work as an artist, photographer and environmental activist. Potter was also a strong advocate for the protection of wild spaces and the environment. However, his life was tragically cut short in a base jumping accident in Yosemite National Park, along with his climbing partner Graham Hunt. His death was a shock to the extreme sports community and his fans around the world mourned his loss. Potter had come to Yosemite with his friend Graham Hunt, another accomplished base jumper, to attempt a wingsuit flight off Taft Point. The two men hiked to the top of the 7,500 foot promontory and prepared to launch themselves into the air. At around 7.30pm, witnesses reported seeing two parachutes deploy off the cliff, but something went wrong. Instead of soaring into the sky, both parachutes seemed to collapse, Potter and Hunt plummeting to their deaths. News of the accident spread quickly and the climbing and base jumping communities were stunned. Potter was only 43 and had accomplished so much in his life. He had set speed records on El Capitan, climbed some of the hardest routes in the world, and pioneered new base jumping techniques. He was a true icon in the world of extreme sports. Potter was also no stranger to danger. He had lost several close friends to base jumping accidents over the years, and he himself had survived several close calls. In fact, just a year before his death, he'd narrowly avoided a fatal accident whilst attempting a wingsuit flight in Switzerland. Potter was known for his daring, but he was also known for his very careful preparation. He would spend hours studying the conditions and the terrain before attempting a climb or a jump, and would always have backup plans in case something went wrong. What could have caused such a seasoned athlete to make such a fatal mistake? Investigators soon began looking into the accident and found evidence that suggested that the parachutes had indeed malfunctioned. The chutes themselves were found to be in good condition, but it appeared that they had been deployed too low to the ground, giving the men too little time to react before hitting the rocks below. Potter and Hunt had been using a technique known as free-fall tracking, which involves diving headfirst towards the ground before deploying the parachutes quite late. It is a highly advanced technique and one that requires split-second timing and precision. It is possible that Potter and Hunt simply misjudged the height at which they needed to deploy their parachutes. It is also possible that some other factors such as wind or turbulence contributed to the malfunction. Whatever the cause, Potter's death was a sobering reminder of the dangers inherent in extreme sports. Even the most skilled and experienced athletes can make mistakes or have issues. There are always no guarantees of safety. But for many in the climbing and base jumping communities, Potter's legacy lived on. He was a trailblazer and an inspiration, someone who lived life to the fullest, never backing down from a challenge. He showed us what was possible and encouraged us all to reach for new heights. The tragic death of Dean Potter is a reminder of the risks inherent in extreme sports, but it is also a testament to the courage, the determination and the spirit of those who pursue them. Potter was a true pioneer and an inspiration, and his legacy lives on in the hearts and the minds of those who knew him and those who continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. We hope that this story has shed some light on the life and legacy of Dean Potter and that it has inspired you to pursue your own passions and dreams, whatever they may be. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this story in the comments below and on the world of extreme sports. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you will always be the very first to get the latest from us.